Okay, this is an update on my LG appliances. Uh, before I've had trouble with the washer, but it's been okay. But I currently have a problem with my dryer. The problem with the dryer is that it runs continuously unless you open the door or you unplug it whether the power is on or not. And I'll go, go ahead and give you a demonstration now. The door is closed. It is off. And now I'll plug it in. As you can clearly see, it's running. But the power is not on. And you can turn it on can cycle through everything and, but it doesn't respond oh, sorry. the pause button and you can turn it off and it keeps on running but if you open the door it stops as soon as you close the door it starts back up again so I've been doing some research on the uh, internet and apparently this is being caused by a sticky breaker in the control board. So I went on the internet, Appliance Parts Pro, I believe is the name of the site, and bought the new control board. It's was 160 bucks for this and that's a pretty good deal considering uh, after contacting LG and their customer support was useless they just really want you to go ahead and use a repair person but I went ahead and called them just to get their opinion and uh, they said it was going to be $90 just to come out and look at it. Uh, if it is the control board, which they really thought it was the control board, it would be $200 for the control board and another $180 to install it. So considering this appliance is not quite two years old, this dryer is a year and nine months. So I decided to try to do it myself. So there's a new control board. It's in the bubble wrap. 160 bucks. And so I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to do it because I really couldn't find a video on how to replace it on the top. This model with the control panel on the top here. I saw a video where you could do it on when the control panel is down here sits off to the side over here but on these top models it's supposed to be actually easier it's supposed to be inside of here so I'm gonna go ahead and do a little repair video so you guys can learn this dryer is model uh, DLE 4870 W okay guys I got the uh, dryer unplugged and I've got the I had to pull the washer out, and of course the uh, beer is the most important item of this repair. So let me squeeze back here. The uh, first step, like I said, the control board from what I've here is inside of this. There's two boards in here. There's a display board, which is for your you know, your display, your buttons, and your knob, and there's another board in here that is the main control board. And we have to take this back off. And the first step is to take out, taking out one. The first step is to take out the three screws on top. One, two, and three. And when I get that done, I'll do the next steps. I have instructions here. It's actually kind of hard to find because uh, LG uh, does not publish these, the service manual for these, this dryer. So right back okay the manual only says to remove the three screws on top here 
which is right here, here, and over here. But it's come loose at the bottom, but I mean the top, but it appears you have to take out the three screws on the bottom as well here, here, and then one on the far side over there. And I think this whole panel is going to come back, and I can actually see it in there already. So I don't think it's going to be a really bad repair. Alright guys, once you take the uh, three screws off the top, three screws off the bottom, the back panel just comes off. I have it hanging down there. And that is where the control panel is. So I need to open this up at first and see which one is where. So let me get back to you. Alright, once you get the three screws off the top and then on the bottom the panel here just, just lays down like that and then what you're supposed to do according to the manual is just grab put a towel down here and keep from scratching the surface just grab the the top control panel and gently lay it down on that side and now you can clearly see the control panel now there's two panels in here apparently. One is for the display and one is the main PCB board. So uh, I guess the next step is to pry this open to find out which one is what. So I'll let you know. Alright guys, I figured it out. There's some tabs here on the side that you have to push on. One is here. One's here, and one's here, and they lock into these. This square piece here goes over top of this and locks onto there. And there's three on this side, and three on this side. Uh, so basically, this hole right here goes over top of this latch. So you just have to press these in and just use your screwdriver. It was really finicky. So, and then after that, this should pop off. And it does. And this, I believe, is the main PCB board. And the display board is actually underneath it. If you have a problem with your display board, I believe you just take these screw off here and over here and this top cover you can see it's two it's actually two layers and yeah, there we go you can see one layer here one layer here well this is the main pcb pcb board layer main control panel and this is your display panel down here so i'm going to be replacing this right here so i guess i'm going to start by removing the screws all the way around it. Well, I guess I'll unplug it first, and take a picture, and then I'll remove the screws. Okay, I got all the wires disconnected. Uh, I would advise you to take a picture like I did of where all the wires go before you disconnect them, and they were really hard to get off, so I had to use a screwdriver here to as I push the detent to like just gently pry up on them to get them off but now they're disconnected so I can move that wiring harness off to the side and move this wiring harness out of the way uh, and this one gets moved out of the way and now my board is free and clear to take off I have uh, one screw here 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 and one over here and one, two, three. So once I get those screws out, this main control board should come out. Okay, I was hoping that just taking those screws out was going to allow me to just lift off the upper portion of the control board from the display board, but not so easy. The whole assembly comes out and it's held on by these tabs right here. And looks like there's uh, one, two, three on this side, and 
of course three on the other side so gotta pull them off now but this whole board is now free of the of the control panel housing okay now I have successfully separated the main control board from the display control board panel nothing to do now except replace it with the new one All right, guys, I got it all, the board back together. Got the two, this one clipped down to this one first, which was very easy, just snap it on. Then I put the screws around the exterior perimeter. And then I went ahead and snapped in all my cables. And uh, everything lined up really easily and they're color coded as well. So nothing to do now except put the cover back on top and uh, give it a try. All right, this is the moment of truth. So, I got everything back together. Got it all plugged in. And here we go. Door is shut, which is a good sign. And it is plugged in. And the display is off and it is not running. So let's see if it turns on. Turn it on here. That's a good sign. Put it on just normal, I guess, not normal. And start it. Yay! It's functioning. So now let's pause it. And it cuts off. And turn the power off. Turn it up. And close it. It is functioning, so that was the problem. So I hope this video helps you guys out because uh, apparently. When I went on the web, I found many, 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 many people with this problem and other problems like dryer not heating and dryer not starting. Most of the cases are related to that main PCB board that I just replaced. So, good luck.